What is up guys? Incente here and a few cool pieces of news for you guys today. The first is that my good friend Sven got me, uh, not got me, he made me um, a custom background template for my channel. And as you can see, it looks awesome. Something I could never have done myself because my art skills are horrifying. Um, I have like the creativity of a teacup, but it is perfect. And I thought I would test it out with a video about all the rage these days, AlphaGo. I've been wanting to actually make a video on this subject for a while, and then I saw Dwyron's uh, reaction to AlphaGo. Um, he recently posted it, and I was like, all right, that's good inspiration. Uh, I'll try to do the one that I've been thinking about doing. Um, he has some great uh, things that I never even considered. Um, totally not what I was thinking about uh, when I heard about AlphaGo's victory. So I put the link in the description below, so if you haven't seen his reaction, you should. Um, really insightful stuff. Um, but I was thinking about stuff completely different than what he was thinking about, which is kind of weird, um, the different thoughts we had in our head. So it, I'm sure you, everybody knows who's watching this, um, but AlphaGo is a Google computer program that has recently beaten a top European professional. Really crazy, uh, shaken up the Go world, and gotten a lot of people interested in the game, which is uh, pretty exciting. Um, I had a lot of reactions, uh, mostly positive, actually, when I heard about this. Um, I love technology. Absolutely love the technology triumphing, um, just because I think computers are awesome. So there was really no uh, negative feelings um, coming from my end. But there were two things that I think we could really learn um, from the way AlphaGo was built and from the way AlphaGo played. Not really specific moves, um, but really just on the foundation of the program. So, as an engineer by trade, I know a lot uh, about computers, and I was very interested to see how AlphaGo was built and um, how it was designed. Knowing that makes the whole fact that he beat this European professional actually even more impressive um, and even cooler to think about. And let me explain. So, this mirrors the Deep Blue's victory over Kasparov. I believe it was Kasparov. Um, what, 30-some years ago? 40 years ago? In chess. Um, when the computers beat the top chess professional, that was like a whole big thing, right? And now it's happening with Go. But there's a few key differences that I think we can really learn from uh, between those two events. First is that the computer that beat Kasparov was stronger than Kasparov from the day it was made. So as soon as that computer was built, it's already stronger. It was a computer. It just thought unbelievable amounts of moves ahead, played out every variation, and that's that. It could see farther than humans. There you go. But Go, you can't do that, right? Go is way too, there's way too many possibilities to calculate out. When AlphaGo was first built, it uses a neural network system, which means when it was first designed, it was like a baby. It could not win a game of Go to save its life. It just lost all the time. But it learned. And that's what I think is so cool about this whole thing. Because in order for computers to be better than humans at Go, the computers need to act more like humans at Go. Right? So it's not necessarily that the computers beat the humans. It's that the computers have been able to mimic what we do but they just have tons more processing power and memory, so they're going to win. And I think this is really cool for a few reasons. Um, reason one is that the fact that computers need to be taught, you can't just pre-program pre this stuff in, really shows how complex the game of Go is and how cool it is. Um, and it shows that there's a human aspect to Go that can't be taken away. Because in order for a computer to be successful, it needs to try to learn like a human, which is pretty cool. The second is <clears throat> when you think about how AlphaGo got better than the pro, right? Like we said before, it wasn't programmed from the get-go to be better than the pro. It simply had the algorithms to become better than the pro. Now we say, how did it become better? It just lost. 
that's how it got better. It just lost game after game after game, figured out why it was losing, figured out what his opponent was doing better, and did it. Um, I think that's really motivating and really cool because it shows that there's really no complex knowledge that you need to be programmed, that needs to be like programmed into your head to play the game, right? The computers are trying to do what we do with our brains normally. Monkey see, monkey do. We try to learn something, we look at people who are good at it, and we lose, we learn, and we repeat. So that just shows that losing is amazing. Losing is how AlphaGo beat the pro. Losing is how every person who's good at anything got to be the way they were. Only by losing can you actually get better at whatever you're trying to do. Um, I think that's really, really cool, especially coming out of a very, like a two week losing streak where just I couldn't win a game to save my life. And coming out of that, I feel so much more confident in my game and so much stronger about my game. So I think learning about how AlphaGo actually operated, how it needed to think like we do, and losses were the key to getting it to where it was, um, are really cool, really revolutionary things that is happening for the first time in history. And I think we're really lucky to be alive right now um, at the time when computers are figuring out how to learn like humans. And I think far from being demotivating, I think it could actually motivate us more because really the key to getting better is to lose and to learn. As long as you're learning from your loss effectively, you're getting better. If you win, honestly, you haven't learned as much. Um, so long term, you should want to lose more than you win. According to AlphaGo, that's how AlphaGo did it. So that's how I'm going to try to do it. So in that light, go lose some games today. Just Just lose. Lose all day today and learn some stuff. And be AlphaGo. Be the infant AlphaGo that grew into this greater than professional program that we see today. And the first step to that is to lose some games. So this is a cool test of this new background. And those are my thoughts uh, on this whole program and this whole idea. And that about sums it up. See you guys on the grid.